For today, partly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A chance of showers. Highs in the upper 60s. Light winds becoming west 5 to 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Surfing was really important for my dad and it was like a central part of his life. He would always allude to like, well, I've got to check the box and like see what's going to happen tomorrow, see if there's going to be swell. And I remember just getting up in the dark and like coming into the living room, with his hand over his head trying to get reception on this tiny little weather radio with like a scratchy voice on the other end, like giving buoy reports and like wind directions and stuff like that. So I was always sort of surrounded by surf culture and, and the surfing experience because my dad made it such a priority for himself. When I was starting, to, when I realized that like I wanted to make one, I didn't take a lot of time to really study how it should be made. So I kind of just hacked one out um, over the course of a couple afternoons in the backyard. We'll plant our base feel the salt and strawberry breeze. Look up and smile at A lot of times like I'll just kind of like stare at the sketch for like half an hour, you know, and just like put a tiny little mark. And same thing when you're like, when you're building it too, like you're figuring out the outline, like you'll kind of like, you'll tweak it a little bit and like change the curve a little bit and then you'll go back and like stare at it. <laughs> fresh piece of plywood on it and screw it and glue it down and hopefully um, 
it'll take on this new bottom contour shape and it'll go faster. Do you feel like you got bored with regular surfing? I mean, sometimes, yeah. It's hard to be like challenged all the time uh, when the surf's not pumping. Moment of truth. There's some there's some fancy name for it, like transverse brace or something like that. Or something like that? Or something like that. Yeah, it's, I gotta like be ready to talk to people when I go to the beach because generally just walking from the car to the water, I'll end up like talking to probably three different people and like telling them what it is. <laughs> probably, I have no idea if this is true or not, but I'm feeling, I have a feeling that like got the name Kookbox because all of a sudden there are like all these novice surfers showing up with surfboards that they built or somebody they know built um, and just take them to the beach and like trying to surf, so. I think it was like the 1930s version of the wave storm. <laughs> the Mecca was like San Onofre and, uh, how do you say, um, uh, Paddleboard Cove or PV Cove. Right. And my parents moved, moved to Palos Verdes in, uh, when I was about nine years old. And that's where I, this is one of the places where I learned to surf. Right. What, the gun? Yeah. Um, I don't know, it was in my gun phase. So he's uh, probably yeah. eight or nine or yeah. ten or something. Yeah, probably like, probably like ten or eleven. Yeah. You like always kind of sat back and like let me come to you. Like when I'm like trying to figure out something, how to glue two pieces of wood together and make pretty it hard, work. Pretty hard to tell you what to do. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> You know, we no, we never told Noel about sports because we didn't want to. We lived so far out in the country. It was like we did <laughs> not want to drive after school, drive another hour to some place and drive back. So it was like, don't tell him about sports. Take him to the beach. Suddenly, it kind of clicked with surfing. <laughs> you know, making like when you needed something, you built it, like this house, for example. And so, I think that, yeah that had a lot to do with why I ended up like building surfboards. You know, Noel has this curiosity, of what's over the next hill? He knows he wants to get up there and look, and then he gets up there and he looks, Noel gets up there and, and looks at the next ridge and goes, I think there's something over that ridge that is, I want to be there. And so he's like on his way. Feel the cold wind blowing, really should get going. Train rolling by, it's all I can.
Doggies have 